so welcome to lesson number two module six of the big data and Hadoop developer course so in this lesson we are going to be comparing pig versus MapReduce now before proceeding with this lesson let's have a quick recap of the previous lesson so in the previous lesson we learned what exactly is pig we also learned the use and need of pig we even had a look at some of the scenarios where pig cannot be used in this particular lesson we will understand the difference between pig and MapReduce and we will see what are the advantages of pig over MapReduce now if you look at pig we can see that it acts like a higher level abstraction over MapReduce and usually it insulates programmers from the underlying Hadoop concepts meaning if I want to become a Hadoop programmer or a developer if I learn pig then I need not worry about the integrities of how Hadoop functions what are the basics of MapReduce etc I can learn the pig syntax and if I'm proficient I can start working with my Hadoop cluster from day one users specify what and leave how to the pig processing engine so the pig is written in pig latin so pig acts as a converter and a compiler so whenever you write a pig script it is being read compiled and converted into a series of MapReduce jobs to achieve what you are looking forward now when you look at the MapReduce we can see that it is a powerful mechanism for parallel computation and it gives more control on writing code and algorithm execution now the reason behind that is MapReduce since it uses traditional Java will allow you to have the full power of a traditional programming language you can have complex logic you can have looping you can even have complex algorithms inside Java to leverage the power of the programming language so MapReduce gives you the full power of the distributed system in the sense it can run on a distributed file system and give you whatever you are expecting however it has a very rigid procedure structure and a huge learning curve in the sense if I have to be proficient in MapReduce then first I should be proficient in a language such as Java and then I have to look forward to learning MapReduce and implementing the same another key advantage of MapReduce is that it is really helpful in analyzing unstructured data whereas pig will fail with the audio and video and completely unstructured data MapReduce will definitely work on those data sets so whenever you have huge amount of unstructured data MapReduce is your only choice Now this table basically compare pig and MapReduce we can see that pig is a data flow language whereas MapReduce is more or less like a data processing paradigm in the sense what you mean by a data flow language is inside pig most of the operations are data manipulation operations so you read the data then you make changes to the data on the fly so that is why it is called a data flow language and pig is a high level language whereas MapReduce is a low level and rigid language what that exactly means is since pig is a high level language it is easy to learn and it is similar to many other programming languages and frameworks such as structured query language and etc whereas MapReduce is a low level language wherein you directly interact with the raw Hadoop and you should learn thoroughly before you are writing a MapReduce code now anyone with a basic knowledge of SQL can easily work with pig whereas a, a proficient knowledge in Java is essential to work with MapReduce 
Now, when you are about to do operations such as join or filter, it is very easy to do it in PIG because your hard work is achieved by built-in operators. Whereas in MapReduce, there is no easy ways or shortcut to do a join. Everything has to be represented in the form of key value pairs and mappers and reducers to achieve your output. Now, PIG uses multi-query approach and hence reduces lines of the code significantly whereas map reduce requires almost 20 times the number of times to perform the same task since pig is a scripting language writing a pig script is quite easy and map reduce re requires java which has to be compiled it becomes difficult so here we can see that java can execute a command in 20 lines of code whereas pig latin can execute the same command in a single line so pig is 1 by 20th the size of a java program and 16 units of development time in java will be one unit development time in pig latin so we can see that pig development time is 16 times faster as compared to java Now having said all these things, let's now uniquely understand the advantages of PIG. So first of all, it decreases the development time and code maintenance since we understand the codes are going to be really slow. And it is really easy to learn and people from structured query language background will find it very easy to learn. And PIG is a procedural language and it doesn't have a declarative syntax. And since PIG is procedural, you could control the execution of every step. You can also write your own user-defined functions. Now, PIG has a lazy evaluation. This is an evaluation strategy that delays the evaluation of a function unless its value is needed. So what that means is, usually when you are writing a series of uh, PIG scripts or PIG program lines, I should say, they will not come to the final operation unless needed. Most of the big operations are data manipulation operations, which does not need an output to be produced immediately. Most of the time, big will be uh, operating uh, in a lazy mode in the sense data manipulation will be happening behind the scene. But ultimately, when you ask PIG to show you the result or give the output, then only the real conversion of the code into MapReduce will happen. So to summarize in this lesson, we have compared a PIG with MapReduce and understood the advantages of PIG. That's all for this lesson.
If you have any question